Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Long Live the Queen. Uh, this is a game that came out a couple of days ago. I was going to play it as a stuff on Steam, but after I started playing and recorded, I got so engrossed that I decided to uh, carry on and maybe make a full playthrough of this, depending on what people think. Um, this came out a couple of days ago. Uh, when I saw it, I just had to get it because it looks such a fun game, and it really is. So I decided I'd just re-record this bit of intro, but now I'll send you back to the original recording. So what is Long Live the Queen? Well it's a sort of text menu based RPG strategy thing, um, that as far as I can tell, where you have to guide, I guess in this lovely young lady, uh, through uh, the period of running up to a coronation to become queen. Um, I'm sure we'll find out more too soon, so uh, shall we start the game and uh, see where we go from there. Jocelyn, King Dowager, Duke of Caloris. We're almost home. Your room is just the way you left it. Do I just click here to move on? Yeah. Elodie, the Crown Princess. Hmm. I know it's hard to leave your school and all your friends, but I've arranged the best possible tutors for every subject. You'll have to work hard this year to prepare yourself before your 15th birthday, but I know you can do it. You'll learn quickly and you'll make a wonderful queen. It's what your mother would have wanted. This is not what mother would have wanted. She wouldn't have wanted to die and leave me. No, she wouldn't. But sometimes bad things happen. We have to pick up and carry on. All of Nova depends on us. On you. <sighs> I will be here to guide you until your coronation, but the decisions you make are ultimately up to you. Come, your maids are waiting. Okay, cool. Uh... Welcome to Long Live the Queen. If this is your first time playing, you should read this brief introduction to how the game works. Well, yeah, this is my first uh, time playing, so sure, we'll, we'll read the brief introduction. You'll be controlling Elodie, the almost Queen of Nova, as she tries to prepare for her coronation. To do that, she needs to take classes every week in order to raise her skills. Okay, skills up there, cool. The skills she learns will provide different choices in the ongoing plot. Learning the right skills can mean the difference between life and death. <gasps> really? Oh. You also need to keep an eye on Elodie's mood. With her mother's tragic death, Elodie is not very happy right now. The mood button will take you to the emotions screen for more details. Okay. Elodie is feeling both afraid and depressed, but her strongest emotion is depressed. If she becomes more cheerful to cancel out the depression, her strongest emotion would then be afraid. Okay, that makes sense. Fine. Elodie's current mood affects her ability to learn. It will give her a bonus to some skills and penalty to others. Let's take a look at the skill screen now. Sure. Skills are broken into four main categories, social, physical, intellectual and mystical. Inside these categories are skill sets, groups of three related skills. You start with zero in all skills. So Elodie starts as a complete know-nothing noob. Fine, fair enough. Every week Elodie can study two skills. Normally she earns two points in a skill for every weekday that she studies. So if she studies history, she'll earn 2 points times 5 days equals 10 points. Okay, that makes perfect sense. Because Elodie is depressed, she has a minus 2 penalty to the social school set conversation. Does she? Oh yes, look, it says up there, minus 2. She doesn't feel like talking to people right now. If she studies conversation, she will earn 2 minus 2 points per day, that is 0 points. Nil point. However, she has a plus one bonus to the expression skill set. If she studies one of the expression skills, she'll earn two plus one points per day, which means three points a day, 15 points for the week. Right, well that's not too difficult. 
If you study a skill you have a penalty for, you could be wasting your time and not learning anything. If you study a skill that you have bonus for, you'll learn much faster than normal. Okay, logical. All of these bonuses and penalties will change when Elodie's move mood changes. She can also gain bonuses to skills by studying related skills. Check the skill screen every week to see your current bonuses. Once you know your mood, skills, bonuses and penalties, you are ready to choose your classes for the week. Okay, and this is classes, I guess. The classes screen breaks down skill sets by category for your morning and evening classes. Wow, morning and evening? She's a princess. You just have to do both, surely. Yeah, anyway. When you select a skill set, the three options in that set will appear on the right side of the screen. Oh, right. Yeah, I see up there somewhere and down here. Cool. Choose a class option for both morning and evening classes, then click the done button which will appear in the lower right corner. As you play through the story, you will sometimes see feedback bubbles appearing over the text. These tell you what's happening behind the scenes. Okay. Oh, I see, like that. Well, I wouldn't call them bubbles exactly, would you? I mean, I suppose there's not much else that you could call them, but bubbles just doesn't seem right. Anyway, sorry, getting sidetracked there by semantics. Bubbles like these will show you when Elodie's mood is being altered by events. Oh yeah, bubbles like these will show you when the story is changing based on what uh, skills Elodie has learned so far. If the test fails, there is some option being missed because she doesn't have enough points in that skill yet. This feedback is very helpful in figuring out different options to try. But if you don't want to see it, you can turn the bubbles off in the preferences menu. I don't know why we'd want to do that, but huh. now get ready to become a queen. Oh, darling, sure, I'll be a queen. Oh, you meant Elodie, right? Okay, sorry, sorry, my bad. Hi, Elodie. So, if I actually click on Elodie, you no, know, she just stands there looking depressed and and, and slightly afraid. Um, I'm guessing. Okay, so her mood, yeah. Look, she's depressed and slightly afraid. She's neutral, willful, yielding, and pressured or lonely. Right, so we choose some uh, skills. What, what do we get for skills here then? So, we get less conversation and de royal demeanour, so we're probably not going to bother with that too much. Um, we get bit to expression, the rest of it's completely neutral. Oh no, we get minus to athletics. Why do we get minus to athletics? But we get more to animal handling. Cool. And we've got mystical, military, economics, medicine, tree history. So we can really make Elodie whatever type of princess we want. That's that's really cool. So we're probably going to want to. We're going to study some an animal handling because I want Elodie to be a queen who you know appreciates and cares for animals. That's that seems appealing to me. Um, and we're probably going to want maybe. Uh, to train, oh, expression, we can do decoration, instrument of voice, we can get some bonuses there. We'll see, but probably an expression, definitely some animal handling. So, oh, outfit. Oh, okay, I've only just got the boarding school uniform, which is what she's wearing. Okay, so I guess we unlock those as we go on as well. Uh, classes. Let's choose some classes for the week. So, uh... Well, she's got, looks like they've got a couple of things set, but not too bothered about them. So in the morning classes, she's going to be um, going to be doing expression and decoration, drawing, painting, arranging flowers, dressing well. Ah, well, that might unlock some new outfits, so we might have to consider that. Instrument skills, the musical instruments such as the harp and flute. Yeah, not too bothered about that right now. And the skill of singing beautifully, not too bothered about that either. We're definitely going to go with some decoration. And we, d we don't want to be concentrating in military right now. I mean, you need to learn something. But we were going to go into animal handling. Riding horses and grooming. Uh, training and hunting do with dogs or training and hunting with falcons. Well, falcons are just... No. Horses, dogs, yeah. We're going to train train some dogs uh, for the week. OK, 
Okay, so and that's done. Ah, we go. Week one, morning. Ten. You discuss the nature of beauty, looking around at landscapes, objects, and people, and comparing their aesthetic elements. Okay. Do I wait here? Do I click? Would be nice to know. Um. So we got fifteen points for decoration for the week. Uh, week one in the afternoon, you visit the kennels and learn about different breeds of dogs. Cool. I hope you learn about Great Danes, Elodie, because they're my favourites. Uh, those and Basset Hounds, because they just look sad. Um, so we get 15 points to into um, dogs for the week as well. Cool. What's all that noise outside? Who's there? Or here. Oh, it's my cousins and my aunt and uncle! Darling, we were so terribly sorry to hear about your mother, Fidelia. Thank you. Really? <laughs> you look well, niece. Hi, Lodi! <laughs> she seems cheerful. Maybe she'll cheer up Elodie a bit. Hi, Lodi! I haven't seen you in ages. Will you be staying long? Yep, Mummy said we've been here all month. So she's plus one cheerful. Yay, see, look, maybe we'll have some time to talk later. Now that you've finished studying, what will you do for the weekend? Um, so I can talk to my father all weekend? Do you really think I'm going to spend or have a spend an entire weekend talking to daddy? Ah, uh, the ten court. Plus two to yielding, plus one to depressed, plus one to pressured. <laughs> well, we're just getting out of depression, so we're not going to attend court right now. We can explore the castle for plus one lonely and plus one afraid. From no, you're not the best. We can visit the tomb for plus one depressed and one plus one afraid. Yeah. We can attend service for minus one depressed. Eh. I wasn't intending on making Elodie a particularly religious queen, so uh, we'll just skip over that. To walk in the gardens for plus one lonely and plus one cheerful. Okay, that one sounds good. Um, play with toys for plus one yielding, plus one lonely and plus one cheerful. We can sneak out for plus two willful and plus one lonely. Ooh. Is it? Visit the dungeons for no effect. So there's probably nothing interesting down there right now. Uh, visit Charlotte, Lady Merva. And I don't know what that will do. Well, probably a good idea to visit, so we'll do that. I love this room, it's so much bigger than mine back home! Yeah, because this is a castle, love. You probably don't live in a castle back home. You should visit more often, it's awful that the only time I get to see you is... something like this. Well, that doesn't seem to be making her cheerful. I know your brother and sister are still too young, but why have you come to school? My mother worries about me. She doesn't think anywhere but home is safe. That's probably right. I understand, and I'm probably not going to be allowed to leave this castle until my birthday. Well, yeah, but we just had a sneaking out option, so if you really feel that strongly about it, we can do that, LED. Um I'll, I'll make a note for that for next weekend. But at least we can have fun together here! Yay, cheerful! Okay, so that's week one done. Week two. Uh, so her mood, she's uh, not so depressed, uh, still a little bit afraid. Uh, so we might want to work on that because, well, you don't want Elodie to be afraid in her own home now, do we? You know, this is her castle. This is her castle. She's going to be queen. So her uh, equal afraid and depressed. Okay, so skills. Cool, we've got some up in decoration. That's good. And. Uh, Oh yeah, down there, dogs. Good. Currently, we're gonna get a bonus to um, a tiny bonus to expression. We're gonna get some big bonus in physical, uh, in agility stuff, um, and we're gonna get a bonus in mystical, in faith stuff. Well, that's about it at the moment. The only bonus is worth it. I'm not gonna get much in animal handling this week, so I probably don't want to spend any time in that. Uh, we're probably going to choose some ugh, faith. No, we'll, we'll forget that for now. We should definitely do some uh, 
Oh, some flexibility. Really? Well, we're going to do that because that's just wrong. It just sounds wrong. We're going to do that because it sounds wrong. And um, I guess we could probably spend some more points here or some more time uh, training some dogs because we do like the dogs. And we're going to get a little bit of a bonus for it. So, uh, classes. Right, so we're going to go and spend the mornings doing... Um, what was it? Uh, oh, agility stuff, wasn't it? Yeah. So we can learn to steps and carrying them out with grace of dances. We can um, increase the ability to respond quickly to surprises. Or the ability to stretch and contort without pain. So we're going to click that. Because... For somebody with a mind like mine, that's that's too uh, too sick to not be amusing. It really is. Okay, let's get on. Uh, animal handling. We're going to stick with that. We're going to stick with dogs. Uh, so we're done. Here we go. Week two in the mornings. You learn to relax and evaluate the tension in your body. Then to practice the different types of motion available to each of your joints. Twisting, shifting and rotating. This game was made by a sad and lonely man, wasn't it? You just know it. <laughs> okay, so uh, we got a 15.08 bonus for this week. In the afternoons, you learn about dog grooming and the most common diseases and injuries that dogs suffer from. And we got a 10.82 increase to that. So that's fantastic. Um, there we go. What's that commotion outside? Father, what's going on? Oh, Juliana, Duchess of Ursel. Who the fuck is Juliana, Duchess of Ursel? I have come to pay my respects in honor of your mother. You have no respect. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. You have no... It's because of you and your powers that my wife is dead. What? I am a Lumen, as was she, and like every other Lumen, I am willing to give my life if necessary to protect our domain. Your line has been traitors for 200 years. I won't have you corrupting my daughter. That is for the Crown Princess to decide. Elodie, your mother trusted me, and I have much to teach you. Who the hell are you? I mean, you're Duchess of Ursel, obviously, but who? Uh, I don't know. I mean, Daddy doesn't seem to like her, but do we really want to listen to what Daddy says? Uh, I don't want to really want to arrest her because she doesn't actually done anything wrong. Now I'm curious. We're going to let her stay. I want to hear what she has to say. She stays. <laughs> oh, look at that expression on her face. Yeah, plus one willful. As you wish. Now that you've finished studying, what will you do for the weekend? Oh, so we've got some different options now. We can visit Juliana, the Duchess of Ursel. Go and see Charlotte again. Um, I'm kind of bored of Charlotte. She just makes them cheerful. But uh, We could explore the castle. We really could do with doing that. But I'm thinking uh, a walk in the gardens for plus one lonely and plus one cheerful. That might be good. Playing with toys. Oh, come on, we're going to be a queen now, not a princess. I mean, do we really want Elodie playing with toys still? I mean, not that there's anything wrong with that. It's just, you know, there's better things she could be spending her time on right now. Um, plus two willful and plus one lonely. She sneaks out. We did say that, didn't we, Elodie? Yeah, look, you can sneak out for the weekend, Elodie, because I did say that last weekend. Plus one lonely and plus two willful. You sneak out of the castle to have a little fun. You enjoy your freedom, but your father won't like it if he finds out. Okay, well we won't tell him then. 